Hey, what up? It's Brad with Home Love Construction, and today I want to answer a question that I'm getting all the time right now, and that's, Brad, what is going on with material prices and material availability? And so, the short answer is things are less available and it costs more. However, what I want to translate for you is what does that actually mean for your project and for your costs for your uh, actual project that you have ongoing. So the first thing that we'll talk about is the, the timeline considerations that we're seeing. So the biggest places where we're seeing delays in materials are two places. The first is windows and doors, <clears throat> and the second is appliances. So those are the two big things. There's, there's a third one that you could kind of say, um, if cabinets you're buying are coming from China, which there are a lot of cabinet lines that do buy their wood from China, those can be delayed as well. Most of the cabinets that we buy American made. So uh, we don't really run into that that much, but that, you know, that's just a business decision. Uh, and then other odd things are sometimes being slowed down, like specialty tiles, stones that are coming from Italy or wherever, stuff like that is being slightly delayed. But the biggest one uh, is the windows and doors and then the appliances. So what that's doing is typically uh, in, in normal times, you know, prior to COVID, we would have a say eight to 10 week lead time on uh, windows and sliding glass doors. And that's impact by the way, the, the non-impact is you can get it next, you know, next week basically, but that's not what we buy the most of. So the impact windows and, and doors and the sliding glass doors usually are eight to 10 week lead time. For some brands like PGT, which is a really popular one in our area, we are now on a 20 to 24 week lead time. So that has literally doubled to tripled in time. So we've gone from waiting maybe two months to get our windows to now waiting four to five months to get our windows for PGT specifically. So if that's the brand that you're looking to do in your project, realize that you're going to wait to get those. The second thing is uh, there are other brands like one would be custom window systems. That's another brand that's big in Florida. Their lead times have stayed down, but I am seeing some of their products starting to creep up. A lot of these window uh, suppliers buy their glass and the extruded PVC, what they actually use to make the frame, a lot of those come from the same like two factories. So if one of them gets slowed down, all of the window companies suffer in their production line. So some of them may have higher stocks than others and may be able to just draw down on their stocks of material that they already had on hand. But once that stock gets drawn down, all of a sudden, boom, there's gonna be short, a big shortage. As far as prices go, we have seen the prices of windows doors and sliding glass doors jump up about 8% since, uh, you know, say this time last year, which is a significant price jump. Um, and for windows and doors, the material is actually the majority of the price. So your windows and doors costs are going up, you know, call it eight to 10% on average throughout the industry. So you're going to see that no matter what you're doing. <clears throat> so that's your your windows and doors side. Realize that if you're looking to do an addition, the windows and doors go in relatively early. So that can be something that if your contractor does it in a certain order, that may delay your project. We're currently doing workarounds uh, where we keep those opening covers, openings covered and we dry in the rest of the building and we keep the project moving forward while we're waiting for the windows. So we're working around those for our current clients. So if you're working with us, realize we're working a solution for you. We're not gonna leave you out in the cold, so to speak. So that said, I wanna move on to uh, two other things that, that people have been concerned about, or we can actually do three. And I'll start with uh, glass itself. So the price of glass has gone up, and so that obviously has changed the price of windows, but it's also done things like shower enclosures, pieces of glass in your bathroom, pieces of glass in your kitchen, glass walls, things like that. Uh, the price of glass has uh, basically doubled from, I believe it was around $2 a square foot to $4 a square foot, but realize that if you're buying a shower door, let's say you have a six foot shower and you're wanting to put a shower door that has a panel and uh, a swinging door on it, that is probably gonna cost you around 1500 bucks. Realize that that's only about, say, 50 square feet of glass. So the cost of that has only gone from, you know, if before it cost at, at a raw material standpoint, maybe 200 bucks, it's now gone to, say, 400 bucks. So we're not talking a crazy doubling of the whole thing. There's a lot of labor involved in something like a, a glass door fabrication and install from a glass company. That said, that segues perfectly into the next thing that I wanted to talk about, which is lumber prices. This is something that people have been really concerned about. I'm getting a lot of calls about this. A lot of our customers are asking about it. Even we've had some internal strife and, and worry about it. 
But the thing uh, as a reminder, so for example, the best example of this would be that the, the cost of a sheet of plywood, a half inch, uh, even like a, a half inch piece of plywood that you would use to sheathe a, a roof deck with has gone from about $25 a sheet up to around $40 a sheet. So that is a significant price jump. And you know, if you're using 60 sheets of plywood to sheathe the outside of your, your house that you just built, you know, what's what's 60 times 15, that's 600, that's 900 bucks in added material, right? So that's that's a nice little chunk. But if you're doing a roof addition that's already costing you $100,000, the $900 jump is not something that's gonna really blow the budget out of proportion. So what, what you need to keep in mind here, the price of labor is the bigger chunk of your project than the price of materials. And a lot of people get this backwards because it used to be the other way around. But as inflation has continued, the cost of wages has gone up. I mean, Florida literally just passed a law where the minimum wage is going to $15 an hour. Realize that there's not only are wages going up, but there's also a labor shortage for construction workers in the state of Florida as a whole. So we're, we have those two things both pushing the cost. I mean, if you want good people, you have to pay them a competitive rate in the market. So you have to pay more and more and that price continues to get pushed up as time goes on. So we try to stay ahead of that as a company. We try to price in to be able to hire the best people for your projects. Uh, and so, you know, there's we pay a premium to do that. And obviously our, our clients pay a premium to use the best people. So that said, don't be uh, in total fear of the cost of your project being blown out because lumber costs have increased, that's not the biggest driver. When you should actually be more concerned about the minimum wage increase uh, because that's going to substantially increase what we now have to pay people who maybe are used to making 25 or $30 an hour. Well, now they're not much over minimum wage. And if a starting wage used to be 12 or $15 an hour, well, now they can get that at McDonald's or anywhere else. So now a starting wage has to be 18 or 20. So realize that that just pushes everything up and, and the labor is the more cost intensive part of the, of the puzzle. So that's, that's gonna be a bigger cost driver over the next five years. So I hope that that gives you a good idea of where we stand in regards to material prices moving around, especially in the state of Florida delays due to uh, pandemic stuff and just kind of the state of the union as far as the big things that we see prices moving on. If you have a specific remodeling question, I would love to be able to answer it in one of these videos. Please send that question to homeloveconstruction at gmail.com. We have been getting a lot of those and I really appreciate them. Uh, we're gonna start making videos actually answering your questions pretty soon, which I'm super excited about. And uh, I definitely want more of them. And obviously, if you have a remodel in the Tampa Bay area that you'd actually like a same day estimate on from our business, we'd be happy to do that for you. Uh, again, the same email, homeloveconstruction at gmail.com is where you should reach out to us if you have a project that you'd like us to quote for you. So that said, happy you're watching. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Appreciate your time. Peace.